This is ELH 4X4 doing stuff. Today we're celebrating 400 subscribers. Thank you. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on the 1976 Corvette. Installing the radiator core support radiator. Fan shroud and all the other accoutrements that go into assembling this front end area of the cooling system. So come on along. All right, so there definitely is a sequence of events that have to happen before you really start installing anything. What I'm talking about is can't have the cooling fan on until you got the fan shroud in. You can't put the fan shroud in until the radiator is in. And you can't really put the radiator in until the core support is in first. So, and, and we'll find this out, we'll figure this out. Core support goes in first. There's two mounting bolts. One here and one down there, right underneath. You'll find it located underneath. And then it has to be pulled back. Well, I got it pulled back with bungee cords. You know, if you have an assistant, uh, it makes it easier. But pulling the radiator core back, um, installing your seals, the foam seals first before the radiator goes in. Kind of finagling the radiator in, radiator. I, I come from up north, all right? So cut me a break on how I pronounce things, but I digress. Fitting the rad in, um, you kind of have to like tilt it in and, and, and fit it in and move it around. Be careful not to hit your upper control arms. That's why I have foam right now protecting the rad from uh, getting nicked because there's nothing like putting a hole in the radiator before uh, you even start the car, right? And then you find out afterwards that it's leaking. So just what I'm trying to say is just be careful. Um, yeah, so let's uh, get you guys set up on the overhead view and uh, we'll walk through the process. All right, so we'll start off with, this is an aftermarket core support. I have the original one down. It rots out in the, in the normal place that they all rot out in for, you know, a almost 50 year vehicle. So I'm trying to put this thing back to stock configuration. And what that means is going through and buying, finding all the accruements, this that heat shield. I can understand why uh, people take the heat shields off because I'm sure after the first time uh, they do a tune-up, it's extremely difficult but I find it to be very easy when you do it from underneath all right anyway so I'm, I'm tracking down all these parts the heat shields and um, the air cleaner scoop opens up slips over top of the core support and then is bolted in through the core support. So this aftermarket one, are you guys even looking? Oh yeah, all right, so 
the aftermarket one doesn't have the holes drilled so you got to do that and to me it's like do that before you have the radiator near it because you can drive the drill home and and go right through the little cooling tubes all right anyway let's get you set up overhead and then we'll start going through uh, assembly. These are the original, actually, these are the original core support bolts. I broke a couple of them when I was originally taking it out, so I just, I replaced it with other ones. So, what can you do? There always seem, seems to be a, a butt first, right? So, I had already cut to fit the lower radiator hose. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install the lower radiator hose on first before I even put the um, fan shroud on. All right, and I promise we're going to get you overhead, and then this next shot will be overhead. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, welcome back. So we'll get the lower radiator hose put in. All right, I had to, I well, both ends. I had to cut both ends off, water pump side, radiator side. Um, putting um, a detergent, liquid soap or whatever to lube up the hose so it slides onto the lower, the lower uh, radiator fitting uh, helps a lot. guys even see that yeah barely but so it runs against the frame and then goes up underneath the uh, air conditioning um, belt if you have air conditioning and that lower radiator uh, fitting hits against the frame so that's what I was talking about when it comes time to put it in you got to kind of tilt it in and, and manipulate it and whatnot Let me go lube it up. See, it's kind of hard to put on because you actually have to slide it down considerably. Uh, considerably. I'm trying to use big words. You try to slide it down a lot. Much easier. Kind of have to rotate it to get some of the kinks that are in it. Lower hose. Now, 
we're gonna have to deal with the water pump. I put some heat shield on that on a fuel fuel line which runs right next right, uh, right next to it. Um, so we'll go get a hose clamp and then put the upper radiator hose on. position the hose clamps to where you can reach them. I'm going to do the upper uh, upper hose clamp now uh, only because the fan shroud might get in the way but since I'm here I'll do that is what I'm saying. So we're going to find out is it going to be easier with the hose clamp facing up or down. Top side or on the bottom, so we'll find out. Difficulty. that heat shield on the um, fuel line is giving me a little bit of a difficult time. So I'm going to try to slip it on with the hose clamp higher. How about if I just take the hose clamp and slide it up all together. There we go. Get the point. You're kind of in my way right now. I love you guys, but how was that? So you can't even really see what's going on. But I'll show you the aftermath. See, there's another uh, but first that I forgot to talk about. Can we see it? No. All right. For the hood, the hinge for the hood has to come out in order to slide the core support back further far enough to get enough clearance to put the fan shroud in. So you got to take the hinges out. Another but first, because I replaced the upper control arm bushings, 
the upper control arm bushings, I can't torque them down, or I need to torque them down. Uh, so that means I got to kind of preload the uh, front wheels and then torque them down before I put the fan shroud on because the fan shroud hugs where are you at? it hugs the upper control arms so you won't be able to get in so what I need to do is I need to torque these upper control arms first and so it's always a butt first all right so you're probably asking why weren't the upper control arms torqued well I didn't have the engine put in yet so instead of torquing it with unsprung weight I uh, waited to get the engine put in and I couldn't put the engine in until I got the transmission rebuilt so yeah this this vehicle was a uh, frame off freshen up I wouldn't say like a restoration but because uh, I'm not that good but I did go through a lot of the stuff and, and fix and, and uh, replace as I needed. So I'm trying to keep it somewhat factory because it is a power window, um, four wheel disc power brake, air conditioned, legitimate numbers matching transmission and engine and a rear differential a power steering so it had a lot of the options so I wasn't willing to you know convert it into something that it wasn't so I'm trying to bring it back to near uh, how it did when it rolled off the factory uh, assembly but I did you know freshen up the engine it's bored out 30 over it has full roller cam uh, roller cam lifters, roller rockers, uh, an eagle rotating assembly, stuff like that. So it has the appearance of being stock and it's a survivor. So I, you know, I'm going to kind of try to keep it that way. But anyway, and you probably, maybe you didn't ask the question why these weren't uh, torqued yet. And we'll just, you know, we'll start from here. So the next thing that goes in is the uh, fan shroud. There are bolt, well I guess would say stud. There's stud lugs at the bottom. core support that the cooling or the uh, fan shroud goes through. Now I know why uh, somebody cut that little area out so it would pass over. See what I'm talking about? Somebody notched out. So apparently, and I'm going, I got rid of the, um, the fan clutch. And I got rid of the fan clutch and just went with, you know, the solid uh, mount, but, uh, or whatever it's called, you know, full, full time. Uh, I, I deleted the fan clutch. So this would have had to have come off, but somebody, I didn't, somebody notched that out. And I'm kind of glad they did because then I would have to have removed that. So anyway, there's two studs. Um, located at the bottom of the fan shroud that get put on um, the core support. You got to pay attention to the gasket. Make sure that the gasket is in the proper place. gasket kit is kind of vague and giving you a description of, of where uh, or how it goes. So, um, 
I'm not sure. It may go over top. I don't know, we'll figure it out. All right, that side is in. That side is on the studs at least. You know, giving a shout out to maybe V8 Lounge or 76 Vet. Maybe those guys would know how the, or uh, TCB Garage. Um, if I missed another Corvette dude, then uh, forgive me. But uh, there's no instructions on the assembly kit, you know, or the, the Noah's, <laughs> wow, no instructions when you get the seal kit. A lot of my references through the factory assembly manual. Can you guys, is that it? All right. Okay. I may be able to get rid of this now. Oh, and since this vehicle is air conditioned, um, in order to put the mounting straps for the radiator in, that's not it. Bear with me. these things, in order to put these things in, I'll go right here. The condenser has to go in. There's these bolts. The hardware, one of the bolts is really long, and if you don't have the condenser put in, We'll drive it right into the radiator. All right, now what? So you're having issues with the seal. Make sure that the seal is broad. pretty good. So now we can take I guess we'll put the other mount in but we can install the mounting bracket for the fan shroud. frame? I don't even know what you guys are looking at. That? Okay. Let's move you over on this side. This one's already installed. Find a 
hardware. I guess I could have had all this laid out. I don't like that. It feels like the gasket folded down. So I feel like it should be up over top. Now who am I? What do I know? fits much better too. Okay. That looks good. Just going through my hardware to make sure that these are in fact for the bracket.
I guess next video will be um, installing the pipes, P-Y-P-E-S, um, two and a half inch stainless exhaust down pipes because I'm using uh, ram horn. Two and a half inch down pipe with the crossover and uh, I think race mufflers. I know they're not the street race or street pipe or whatever it is, whatever they're called, but uh, so that would be the next video that comes out. All right, we can pull the shroud back a little bit, give us some room to put the cooling fan in, and then we'll put our condenser in. Get that lined up. Get you centered up. All right. I guess we can't lift the shroud up. Well, what I'll do is. Kind of hang it. Work it forward a little bit. Enough to get a lock washer and a nut started. Okay, there we go. Splendid. get something to stand on because I got the whole vehicle lifted up off of the ground. Only because, like I said, I got to put exhaust on it and I just got done putting the engine and the transmission in it. All right, let's go over onto the the starboard side.
this is going to be a reach. watching I'll be watching the back of my head I don't know So we'll do the, I guess, a lineup. It's not hitting anywhere. So now we just got to line up the, uh, you can't even see. side mounts. All right, three bolts. One, two, three. We'll um, tighten this up first before we move on to the condenser. So I went with just a sidebar here. Maybe you guys can leave a comment or whatever. I mean, leave a comment anyway for this video. Um, I went with the Borgeson power steering kit. And what I'm running into is the steering wheel is off a little bit. So my question is, I mean, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do to see if it's possible is to get as much adjustment out of the tie rod ends to kind of get the steering wheel back on center, or would you just pull the steering wheel and instead of going over the factory position where it's clocked, um, just put it in a centered position. So what's your thoughts on that? Would you try to adjust through the power, or not the, through the uh, tie rod ends? Or would you just re-clock the steering wheel? So leave a comment on that. And, uh, your thoughts or whatever on the Borgeson power steering kit. And since my vehicle was already equipped with power steering, I didn't have to get 
the uh, power steering pump. It's a decent system. I did have to push the steering column extension back a little bit to fit the rag joint. But other than that, the hoses lined up that they provide. Okay, so it's a pretty nice system. I'm dealing with hooking up the power steering hoses now and whatnot. That's good to go. Yeah, these were tightened. Okay, on to the condenser. Maybe. What we can do is get these outer. outer mounting bracket, you know, for the mounting bracket, we can get these outer bolts started because the condenser bracket, what are we looking at? Condenser bracket goes in this area, so we got to get these bolts started on both sides. Let's get you set up over here. Do we do? I think you know what? I think we'll we'll line the uh, core. We'll line the core up with uh, the mounting holes. That way, there's less weight on a core system to line it up is if we put the, actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, we'll wait for the um, condenser because you got to kind of see through the holes to line them up and see I can see light through this one let's get you put up over on this side then okay, 
Yeah. This gets mounted up there somewheres. Like that, I think. Something like that. We'll figure it out. I'm looking for the hardware. Wow. So I'll probably put the non-factory stuff tucked up underneath. That way when you kind of look in the wheel well, I'll, I'll put the factory hardware in the center so it doesn't stick out but we're going for this one right here All right Yahtzee You want to see that? I mean, why not? Why not? Until you get in my way. Oh, easy now. All right, so we're kind of we're shooting for that hole, and it's kind of off a little bit, right? So we just got to move it back some, and then the very bottom bolt is going to be in between this and down in there. But we can we can reach it with much much perseverance.
Like it has to come down some. Yeah, it feels like it has to come down some. But that's what I'm looking for, right? Right in these areas. Right here is where the core support is. Try to get this this side lined up on the upper. Maybe that might help. Yeah, it has to come down. I know I have a drift somewhere. There it is. Alright. Okay. That seemed to have done it. Man, there just isn't. Sorry guys. All right, we got that upper one started. Because I kind of got this middle one started first. Can kind of maybe just leave it a little bit loose because there like I said there's one down under here that we have to get. Are you going to be able to see it? So I'm going to struggle with that one and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, I got the other side lined, lined up. can't really see. There's these two bolts on both sides that are part of the, the radiator core. 
I think they're five eighths. I had to track those washers down because this this Corvette was in an accident. Uh, previous owner, so none of this uh, bumper core support front and rear were present. So I had to find all this stuff and get all the body washers and stuff. I got these at Dave's uh, Corvette. If you like type in Corvette parts, then Davies shows up, something like that. And I got these pretty inexpensive. And the um, uh, body mount bolts. You know, some of them aren't factory, but I found the washers. Anyway, these two get tightened down. They're part of the core support. So at this point in time, if you don't have air conditioning, and this is where you would stop these two. I'm going to tighten these up and then we'll go back up top side and put the uh, condenser in. All right, condenser. It has the two slot that go into the bosses down at the bottom of the core support. I do need a seal for the condenser, the lower condenser hose. I think may get a seal, not too sure. But let's get the let's get the condenser mounted. Half inch. I don't know 
know if that's even open. This thing's gonna have to be lined up. Just be careful with your drift that you don't push it in too far. Just keep it just a little bit snug. I think that's it. And maybe not. So it takes time to get this stuff lined up. So that's what I'm going to do. We can do that off. All right, I think we got it this time. <laughs> ah! All right. Let's just do it on camera, man. Let's, you know. What's memory space between friends?
な。Loosen this one up. Clearly, that's giving us problems. All right, that's not it, but Clearly not it. It's just really hard to do without light, you know.
That was it. Okay, that's it. And just for the cherry on top, let's get that uh, air cleaner uh, upper radiator hose and the air cleaner installed. I need to get hose clamps. Um, And you kind of have to twist the hose. So it clears the belts and the brackets. Free and clear, free and clear. Seated. Seated. All right. And I'll tell you what I'm talking about with the, with the air cleaner. Now it has two different size screws. Where are we looking at? Well, now, oh, okay. I bought this used off of eBay um, and it just came with one smaller size. So I'm assuming that, well, now we only have three, but um, yeah.
on it and leave that a little bit loose. See that I don't like the way that uh, I don't like the way that fits. This was another aftermarket um, purchase. Okay. You kind of like it. you have to bend this aluminum stuff around you know so it fits better you have to kind of form it anyway let's see if we can't get these other bolts in nuts screws whatever So when I was sliding it on, it may had may have shifted the clip. Let's see if we can use a smaller one. Maybe not. I'll have to find I'll have to better find a better screw. Includes installing the radiator core, radiator core, where whatever, wherever you're from, um, on a 1976 Corvette Stingray with air conditioning. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Put me over 400, man. That's awesome. Appreciate it. You guys have a blessed day. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you maybe for uh, install on the exhaust, step by step. That's how we do it here. We don't edit, cut, and show you the finished work. Uh, I try to show you step by step, so see you at the next one.